data has value. So the advantage of being a data-driven enterprise is getting return on investment that is that asset or that commodity. So looking at it that way, um, the advantage is, is, is being competitive, being innovative, um, leveraging all of the, the assets that you have for future return on investment. Absolutely, companies have to change the way they look at data. I don't know that, that, that in the market now that, that's a, that that is a, um, a, a brilliant discovery. I think people understand that and, and people who run businesses understand that they need to leverage their data. But shifting to a, a data-driven enterprise is a very cultural change. Um, they understand they need to do it but getting there is, is quite difficult in some ways. I mean, there's, a, there's almost a sunny side and a, and a dark side, if you will. Uh, the, the, the dark side is, is that they know they need to monetize their data, and they know that they have to democratize their data to make a difference in their business. Everybody's been telling them that. They watch Ubers and, uh, and other businesses spring up that just do nothing but leverage data. The dark side is, is that you don't just start doing that. Uh, you have to uh, go through some level of rules orientation to the business, um, form uh, methods by which you would govern the data, uh, design architecture, governance of the data and ownership of the data. Basically, you can't use data if you can't trust data. And, and that's the dark side because that's difficult. The sunny side is, is that they understand the fact that if they can trust their data and govern their data and they have design authority against their data, that they will improve their business.